from Georgia. I'm George and I'm Miriam. Tbilisi is the capital of Georgia and today we're going to show you 15 places which must be seen when you visit the city. Mount Tatminda, one of the most popular places in Tbilisi, is located on 770 meters height overlooking the Georgian capital and it is the highest point in the city. Here is situated the symbol of the city, Tbilisi TV Broadcasting Tower and Funicular, a historical and architectural site of Tbilisi. Mama Dawiti Church is situated on downhill of Tatminda. Mama Dawiti was one of the 13 Assyrian fathers who built here a chapel and laid the foundation for the spread of Christianity in 6th century. Kashwati Church is a Georgian Orthodox Church in central Tbilisi, located across from the Parliament Building on Rustavali Avenue. The name Kashwati is derived from Georgian word Kwa for a stone and Shwa to give birth. The legend in 6th century, monk David of Gareja of the 13 Assyrian Fathers was accused by a woman of making her pregnant. This woman was cursed by her lies and she gave birth a stone. Because of this, the place received the name of Kashwet. The Lurji Monastery, that is a blue monastery, is a 12th century Georgian Orthodox Church built in the name of St. Andrew. The name Lurji, blue, is derived from its roof. The church stands in the central part of Tbilisi. The original building of the Lurji Monastery was built in the 11th century in the reign of Queen Tamar. During the Soviet era, the Lurji Monastery building was used as a factory, a warehouse and finally as a museum of Georgian medicine. At the end of the 19th century, the Lurji Monastery was restored to the Georgian Orthodox Church and Christian services were resumed. This is the St. John the Apostles Church, which is located a few meters from the Blue Monastery and was built in the beginning of 19th century. According to the legend, in 7th century, the ancient temple was standing at the same place. Lehtakhevi is one of the historical geographical region in Old Tbilisi. Lehtakhevi, which means ravine of fig, was named because of the multitude of fig trees grown here. Also, here you can find the lover's bridge full of paddle locks. Abanatubani, which means Pass District, is the ancient district of Tbilisi, known for its sulfic pass. Abanatubani is an important historic part of the city, the place where, the, according to a legend, the king of Iberia, Vahdan Gorgasalis Falcon, fell, discovered the hot springs and due to this, founding a new capital, Tbilisi. Metehi is a historic neighborhood of Tbilisi located on the elevated cliffs that overlook the Mtkwari River. The district was one of the earliest inhabited areas on the city's territory. According to the traditional accounts, King Wachdan Gorgasali erected here a church and a fort which served also as a king's residence. Hence comes the name Metehi, which dates back to the 12th century. It was later damaged and restored several times. The Bridge of Peace is a bow shaped pedestrian bridge, a steel and glass construction illuminated with numerous slats over the Mtkwari River in downtown Tbilisi. The bridge, which stretches 150 meters, connects Old Tbilisi with the new district. This place is popular as for locals as for tourists, and it's a good place to make memorable photos here. The Holy Trinity Cathedral of Tbilisi, commonly known as Sameba, is the main cathedral of the Georgian Orthodox Church, and it's considered one of the main sites of Tbilisi. 
The construction of the church was proclaimed as a symbol of the Georgian national and spiritual revival. It is the third tallest Eastern Orthodox cathedral in the world and one of the largest religious buildings in the world by total area. According to the Old Georgia Annals, the church was built by the King Tachi of Iberia in six centuries. The basilica was damaged and rebuilt of several times from the 15th-17th centuries due to wars between Georgia, the Persians and Turks. Muslims in the city appeared after the conquest of the city by the Arabs at 7 centuries. The mosque located at the end of botanical garden. It is the only one functioning at the present and it serves as a sheet as the Sunni Muslims. The Cathedral of St. George is a 13th century Armenian church in the historical part of Tbilisi. It is located in the southwestern corner of Vahtan Gorgasali Square and it is overlooked by the ruin of Narigara Fortress. The Great Synagogue, also known as the Georgian Synagogue, it was built in 19th century and it is a symbol of friendly relationship between Georgian and Jew people. The Sioni Cathedral of the Dermishun is a Georgian Orthodox Cathedral. It was built in the 6th and 7th centuries. Since then it has been destroyed by foreign invaders and reconstructed several times. The Sioni Cathedral was the main Georgian Orthodox Cathedral in the set of Catholicus Patriarch of Old Georgia until the Holy Trinity Cathedral was consecrated in 2004. The Catholic Church of the Ascension of the Virgin Mary is a Roman Catholic cathedral in Tbilisi. At Soviet times it was rearranged as a storehouse and in the course of time the building was dilapidated. Before Rome Pope's visit to Georgia in 1999, this Polish Roman Catholic Church was restored and now beside Catholic Masses one can listen to organ music there. The major part of its parish are Georgian Catholics and Poles. Renovated and rehabilitated Armashenebeli Avenue is one of the beautiful historical parts of Tbilisi. The small European street in the heart of the capital of Georgia has a lot of historical and cultural buildings which is attractive for tourists. New Armashenebeli Street is the place where you can find and enjoy Tbilisi's new and interesting life. Arikala is an ancient fortress overlooking Tbilisi and the river Mtkwari. He regularly travelled to a lot of guests and visitors because of great interest. For Georgia and Arikala is one of the most important cultural and historical monuments. As it seems from the video, except its historical sites, Tbilisi is a city of religious tolerance. In the same area, a few meters away, there are a synagogue, mosque, Georgian Orthodox, Catholic and Armenian church together. Thanks for watching us. Wait for our next videos. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe our channel.